Hello, my name is Tad. In this video, I will be documenting how to install and use FireJail. FireJail is a sandboxing tool for Linux. Sandbox tools are used to restrict access to files and system capabilities from programs running on a computer. There are a number of existing sandbox tools such as Bubblewrap and Minijail along with Sandboxy for Windows. This video is, however, only focused on FireJail. FireJail has been around since 2014 and is GPL v2 licensed. FireJail's not notable difference is its wide selection of pre-made configurations called profiles for software. This lets you sandbox the majority of your programs that you use with little to no effort. Let's start with the install process. FireJail is currently packaged in many existing Linux distros, such as Debian, Arch Linux, Fedora, and OpenSUSE. I'm running Fedora here, so I will run sudo dnf install FireJail. I'll enter my password. and hit Y. Now, to now that it's installed, we can actually enable the recommended profiles. Simply run sudo fire cfg. This does three things. It creates symlinks to and use your local bin to fire jail. This allows these programs to run, by default, sandboxed. Secondly, it creates new desktop files, removing hard-coded paths to ensure that those desktop files will run the sandbox. Third, it adds the running user to the allowed users list. If you would like to add a, another user, you can run sudo fire cfg dash dash add dash users and the username. In this case, I'm already added. Now, let's look at an example. I will open up Firefox. In this case, it immediately looks no different. You wouldn't really be able to tell. We can check by running fire jail dash dash list and you see it listed right here. To actually verify this, we can try to access a file. So go to file colon slash 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 and navigate to our home directory and you will see the files that Firefox can see versus the files that are actually in our home directory. This is one of the many limits that the sandbox enforces. However, it is only one of the few that you can actually easily see as a user. Another one is the devices. You'll see there's a lot less devices versus what is actually there. Now, let's look at some extra uses. FireGel has many options. You can run man fire jail to see them. We'll get to profiles in a moment, but there's also man fire jail dash profile. Most of the options are the same, except for just how you specify them. To run a program sandbox from a terminal, you just simply run it. You'll see here that it is started by fire jail jail. To run a program with extra options, for example, private here, which starts it completely in RAM, nothing safe to disk, you must, must specify the full path to the binary. If you do not specify the full path, it will run fire jail inside of fire jail, and that does not work. So here you see here, 
this works. FireJail stores profiles in slash etc slash FireJail. There's a lot of them. Each one is the name of the binary itself. So Firefox is firefox.profile. We can take a look at one. They're quite readable. They're not too complex. Um, at the top, you can see it includes locals. We'll get to those in a moment. Here, it disables access to files. These are includes that blacklist files. A no blacklist must be called before a blacklist to ensure that it is not blacklisted. In this case, it is a whitelist profile or in the future, an allow list profile. So you see here, it first creates the directories it needs. This is important for the first creation, not so much subsequent runs. And then it actually whitelists and allows access to that directory. Whitelist common is a, another include used to whitelist common files, such as other configurations and themes. File options are typically always the top of a profile. At the bottom half, you have the actual extra restrictions. You can read about these in the man pages, but they are mostly self-explanatory. We can create our own profiles in tilde slash our home directory dot config slash firejail. So if I want to copy one, I can cp build a slash read slash etc slash firejail slash the profile to this directory. I can make my changes to it, do whatever I want, and then I can actually run the program and you will see it uses our local profile, ignoring the one from the global slash etc directory. If we do not want to completely override a profile, we can simply create a local profile by just writing whatever you want to one. So find test.local, and we can put net none. This will disable networking permission for this one. You run it. And you'll see it first includes the ETC profile along with our local appends. That covers most of the basics. Now I would like to talk about some overlooked aspects. The common use case, your browser. If you go to save a file, you will not be able to save anywhere else other than the downloads folder by default. If you save anywhere else, that file will be deleted the moment you close the sandbox, the browser. So you must save it to downloads. Now, a very good use case of locals, for example, is to create an uploads directory because the same applies if you want to upload a file to a site, you have to put it in downloads, or you can make an upload directory. So we can go to cd.config firejail nano firefox.local whitelist our home directory slash upload. Now we start Firefox, and you'll see we have access to the upload directory. Next, a common use case for browsers is U2F dongles, things like YubiKeys, FIDO keys. These by default are inaccessible from the browser sandbox. You can enable this by doing sudo nano slash etc slash firejail slash firejail .config. You can go down here to browser disable U2F. 
It's a bit of a misnomer. You want to uncomment the line and then change yes to no. This will allow you to have access in the sandbox. Another common issue users have is issues with DRM. By default, the browser cannot run executables that are stored in the home directory, such as the Widevine DRM. You must edit this file, uncomment the browser allow DRM line, change no to yes. I do not recommend DRM, but it is there for you. There's also a number of other options in this program, in this config, that you can change, but most of them should be fine. This overview so far should give you enough to get you started. If you need more help than what is available in the man pages, there are issues that you can go through. There's over almost 2,500 here. I strongly recommend you first search whatever issue you are having. If you don't find any, change your search terms and search again. If you really cannot find an issue similar to yours, you can create a new issue and we will do our best to respond to you. If your programs that you use do not have profiles, you can try to create your own profiles based off of the default profile as shown here. It is reasonably documented with options that you might want to use. You just simply copy this file, change the names of the file and the names in the, the top header, and then uncomment basically all the options until it breaks. Then once it breaks, you'll revert that trial and error. You'll get there eventually. If not, you can go here to issue 1139 and request a profile if it has not already been requested. And hopefully someone will come along and make the profile for you. That is basically it. I don't have too much more to say. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.